cooked chicken, a creamy curry mayo sauce infused with mango, apricot and spices. This is a real royal favourite. Hey guys, how you all doing? Welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today we're going to make an iconic British dish from 1953. It was invented for the Queen's coronation. We're going to make coronation chicken. Fantastic. Bit of mayo, bit of creme fraiche, bit of curry powder, some chopped apricots, some sultanas, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, comes together as an absolutely flavour bursting dish. Now you can actually serve this up with salad or you serve it up on sandwiches. So let's show you how to do this. Okay, I'm using three cooked chicken breasts. Now these are roast chicken breasts, but you know you can use boiled chicken, rotisserie chicken. We just need to use cooked chicken. Um, what we want to do guys, we actually want to slice it quite thickly and then we're going to dice it. Now we need to dice the chicken into good bite-sized pieces. Obviously we want a bit of texture in our coronation chicken, so try and cut it into decent cubes of chicken. So you get a decent bite when you eat your coronation chicken. Then all we got to do we just got to put it in a bowl. Put it all in a bowl. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take three dried apricots and we're going to slice these. And then we're going to dice these very small. So slice and dice, nice and small. And just put in a little bowl. Okay guys, what we need to do, we need to put some mayonnaise in a bowl. Now I'm using about seven or eight tablespoons of mayonnaise. And then we want to add three tablespoons of creme fraiche. And that's gonna give a really nice creaminess through our mayonnaise. And then what we need to do, we need to add a tablespoon of uh, curry powder. Now you can use any curry powder that you prefer, a mild madras, but we need to stir it all through. Get it all stirred in there, because what's going to happen is, it's going to lose that grittiness of the curry powder when it takes on the mayonnaise and creme fraiche. You know, it'll swell inside there slightly, and it'll be a nice, smooth, creamy curry paste. It'll be absolutely delicious. So just stir it all in and we will lose that grittiness. And then we need to go in with about an eighth of a teaspoon of uh, cinnamon, about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, and about an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. And that's going to be our seasonings in there. And then what we need to do, we need to go in with our mango chutney. Now I've got about three tablespoons of homemade mango chutney here. You know, but you know, you just use store-bought if you haven't got any homemade. The mango chutney um, and the rest of our dried fruits are going to give that sweetness all the way through our coronation chicken. So add our dried apricots and our sultanas or golden raisins. I'm using golden raisins. I try to keep everything the same color if we can for the fruit. You know the mango, the raisins, the apricot. It's all an orange color which actually goes really well with the curry um, color in our mayo creme fraiche sauce. So stir it all in, make sure it's fully incorporated before we add our chicken. Add our chicken and again guys, all we're going to do is stir this in until it's fully coated with our coronation sauce. This is an absolutely superb, easy recipe to make. 
There's no cooking involved because we're using cooked chicken. So to stir everything in so it's fully incorporated and that is our coronation chicken made. It's as easy, easy as that. And then all you've got to do, you've got to decide are you going to serve it in a bowl, sprinkle some toasted almonds over the top, make it look posh, or you're going to serve it in a sandwich or on a salad. How you're going to serve it is up to you. Now I love coronation chicken in a sandwich. Absolutely love it and I've loved it for years. So in a bit of a baguette then, put some lettuce in, put a little bit of tomato in, Put a little bit of cucumber in. Now obviously you can put whatever salad stuff in there that you want. Now I don't like much more than that. So all I will do now is just add the coronation chicken. Get the coronation chicken in there. Put the lid on. And that is our coronation chicken. Baguette, sandwich, sub, whatever you want to call it. It's absolutely cracking. It is a fantastic, fantastic little sandwich with the coronation chicken. Now if this recipe is fit for the Queen, it's fit for anyone. Really, really delicious. Just look at that. Coronation chicken made guys, I hope you give it a go. Now if you like what we're doing and you would like to subscribe, that'd be fantastic. Until next time, keep safe.